Josh here. Today I'm going to show you how to set up Ethernet and Wi-Fi to auto-connect on Windows 8 and Windows 10. Let's get started. First, you're going to need to hit Windows key plus R. This is going to open up the Run dialog that you see here and type in regedit, R-E-G-E-D-I-T. This is going to open up the registry editor. Uh, the user account control will ask you if you want to open this and you can go ahead and hit yes. Uh, be aware this tool is pretty dangerous if you don't use it correctly, so just make sure you follow the directions closely. Uh, we're going to navigate to the WCM SVC key. I'm going to show you how to do that. Open up the H key local machine key. Then go over here to software. Then go to policies. Then go to Microsoft. Then go to Windows. Then go to WCM SVC. All right, now you're going to see one key inside of WCM SVC, and that's called local. We're going to add a second one in there, if it does not already exist, called group policy. Right click on WCM SVC, choose new, and then choose key. When it uh, creates the new key here, you're going to type group policy exactly like I've typed it here. The G and the P should both be capitalized. We're going to hit enter. And then inside of that key, we're going to create a new D word. So right click on group policy, go to new, and then choose D word, 32 bit value. And you're going to name it F minimize connections. Again, exactly like it's typed and spelled here. It's very important that you type it just like this and hit enter. The default value of that should be zero. And there you go. That's all there is to it. Uh, at this point, if you have set a wireless connection to automatically connect on your computer, it will go ahead and do that. As long as you have the ethernet in there as well, you will now see that both of them are connected at the same time. I don't know if I have the Wi-Fi set to auto connect here, and I don't yet, uh, but if I did, uh, I could simply connect to it here and you would see both of them were connected at the same time automatically. So we'll go ahead and connect and you can see our two connections there. That's all there is to it. If you have any questions, uh, you can feel free to leave me a comment down in the video comments and I'll be happy to try to help you. Thanks for watching the video and uh, have a great day.